I'm Dorothy Buchanan Wilson, International President, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Welcome to Conversations. La, la. Welcome to this episode of Conversations. Today we are talking about leadership from an intergenerational perspective as Alpha Kappa Alpha has a number of generations of Soros in leadership positions. We have with us our International Second Vice President, Sora Autumn Kyles. Sora Autumn, welcome to Conversations. Thank you, Madam Sabrine. Great. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority is an organization that was started at Howard University by a group of undergraduate women. How does it feel to be in this historic role as our leader of our undergraduates? Um, it feels surreal. Like, I never expected that I would be able to serve in such a great capacity. And um, I've always looked up to the sorors and the women of Alpha Kappa Alpha as these great individuals. So just to even be a part of this organization has been amazing to me. And to be able to serve in this role has been incredible. And it's been, um, you know, so amazing to be able to serve this organization. Right. We're always looking to have our undergraduate members serve in the role, um, be the second vice president or as undergraduate members at large. What advice would you give to those members out there who are seeking to serve and to run for those positions? Yeah, um, really just understand that you have the skills that it takes. I'm just like you. I'm an undergraduate. I, I go to Hampton University. Um, I just celebrated my second anniversary in November. So Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so, you know, you can attain anything that you want to. You just have to have faith in yourself and faith in your abilities to do it. So, you know, if you aspire to have this position, go ahead um, and, and, and do it and accomplish what you want to accomplish. Right. When you ran for office, one of the things you said was that you wanted to be a vocal advocate for undergraduates. Mm -hmm. And as a president of the board, I can certainly attest to the fact that you are a vocal advocate for the undergraduate members. How do you balance the, the role of student, um, being on the international board, and the travel that comes with your role? Yeah, well, I have an amazing village of people who really help me out. Um, I have a great family, a great mom and dad who always support me and always help me to attain my goals. Um, I have awesome soars and co-initiates who've always had my back through thick and thin and who always encourage me to, you know, accomplish my goals as well. And then um, I'm in an ma uh, awesome major. Um, we're treated like family. You know, we all treat each other like family. So we have this saying called, we have your back and not your slack. So they're always helping me out as well. And um, with that, I've been able to um, make sure that I balance everything flawlessly and, and be able to, you know, get good grades as well as, you know, serve in this position. Right. Alpha Kappa Alpha stands for Scholarship, Service, and Sisterhood. And certainly, Service and Sisterhood is a big part of what you are representing here yeah. on the board. So talk to us a little bit about what does that mean to not only you, but to today's generation of younger soars. Right. Well, service and sisterhood is such a time, you know, they're timeless words. So I feel like it's not very much different from, you know, any graduate soar. Um, to be a sister to one another is to always help each other out, to always have, you know, a shoulder to lean on and be that shoulder for other soars to lean on as well. And service means to give selflessly of yourself um, and, and, you know, making sure that we're giving all of our efforts to people who need it. Um, so as undergraduates, we always want to, you know, have those things in mind and I believe that undergraduates we do. Right. Um, you are also a legacy member of our organization yeah. <laughs> which means that your mother is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what that experience has been like especially now given your role right. um, being on the, the international board. Um, me and my mom have grown so much closer to one another. Um, my mom, she is such a selfless person. Um, she's a two-time cancer survivor. She uh, has been a sore for over 15 years, and she's always been the person to go in and put on the gloves and work, whether it's her event, whether it's someone else's event. So I've learned from her to be just such a, a selfless and servant leader. And um, throughout this experience uh, of becoming second supreme anti basilisk she's been that person to always be my rock and always be there to support me. And I'm so thankful for her um, because without the, the love and, and the support of her, I would not be here today. 
great. Thank you. And I can I can certainly say that during the campaign, we saw a lot of your mother. So <laughs> yeah. I know she's a big supporter of yours. Yeah. Even now, I wanted to make sure that you're in place um, in your role on the board. Yeah. Um, for those members who say to you, how can I have an impact as an undergraduate? You know, I'm young. I just joined the organization. What advice would you give them? Um, I would really tell them just to own it. Like they have, we as undergraduate as undergraduates and as millennials, we have so many skills and so many, um, you know, creative ideas. You know, don't be afraid to use them in your chapter and don't be afraid to speak out on them. And oftentimes we just have to own what we, what we're really about. You know, own that we have great skills, own that we're creative, own that we really have a place in this organization and make, making sure that we're acting on them and being vocal about them so that we can um, implement them into our organization. And speaking of own it, tell our audience what does own it mean for this administration of undergraduates on the board? Yeah, to me own it just really means to be a great soror, um, to really be about our organization and really making sure that we are standing on what we believe as undergraduates and our skills as undergraduates and really making sure that we're sharing them with our organization and also being um, very knowledgeable about Alpha Kappa Alpha. We can't really do anything without the knowledge and so um, making sure that we know about Alpha Kappa Alpha in our documents and then making sure that we're uh, we're utilizing them. Right. What are some of the goals that you put into place for the next few years as you serve out your role as second international vice president? Yeah, so really what I want to do is just making sure that our undergraduates are more knowledgeable and more independent. Um, oftentimes we as undergraduates, we lean on the graduate source to do a lot, when in actuality we have the skills and we have the ability to do it all ourselves. And um, of course with their help. And so I want to make sure that undergraduates really know about our documents, they know about what we can and can't can't do as undergraduates and that we're also having that platform to serve whether it's on the regional or international level or even in our chapters. Right. And I know one of the things you're a big proponent of is lifelong membership. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about what does that mean for you as you're preparing to transition from being a senior in college yeah. to a graduate member of the organization. Yeah. So lifelong membership to me um, means that you're always here to serve Alpha Kappa Alpha in any component. Um, you know, oftentimes we think that, you know, we have to be these, you know, gung-ho sorors all the time. And I understand that that's not always possible. But always being an active member, always, you know, serving in any capacity that you can, even though it's a little bit, and always making sure that, um, you know, we continue to perpetuate what Alpha Kappa Alpha means. That's what lifelong membership is. And when we get older and we're able to serve more, go ahead and serve. You know, use your, your abilities in any way to make sure that Alpha Kappa Alpha is the greatest organization that we can make it for years to come. Thank you. And what does it mean to you to live fearlessly? Because obviously you're a good example of that as our undergraduate yeah. leader. Um, to live fearlessly means to have faith in God and his plan for you wholeheartedly. Um, understanding that he has a vision for you that you might not see and trusting that his vision for you is going to be greater than what you know. And um, to live fearlessly means to just trust in him and knowing that you're gonna accomplish all of your goals by just having faith in him. Great. Thank you, Sir Adam, for being so our guest on Conversations. Mm -hmm. Continue success to you as you go forward in life, but more importantly, continue to lead our undergraduates in the very Thanks best manner that you can and as you've started already. All right, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you again for joining us for this episode of Conversations where we've had with us our International Second Vice President, Sora Autumn Kyles, who continues to lead us in service to all mankind.